Hi ho, hi ho, over the bridge we go, I said hi ho, hi ho, over the bridge we go, I said hi ho, hi ho, over the bridge we go, to go fishing for bigger trout than we've caught in a long time, or something like that. <clears throat> Hello little micro pond. How the hell are you today? My name is Josh. I've never met you. I've always wanted to meet you, but I never have. And today is the damn day. Treat me well, please. I'd appreciate it. What is going on, you dirty old stash bags? It is me, and I'm kind of sick. No, I don't have the, uh, you know what. But uh, I did get a cold, and I, uh, I've blown my nose about 37,000 times in the past two days. But finally starting to feel better. So we're going to go fishing at this little pond. Even though it doesn't look like much, this place uh, has always been on my uh, to-do list. It's kind of far from my house, so I just have never really done it. And I'm not really a huge fan of stalker trout, so that's another reason why I haven't really done it. But this place, I'm not sure if it's a different species or they just spend more money on these ones because they are bigger from the sounds of it. On the small end, it's 15 to 16 inches, which is not huge, but that's bigger than any Nebraska trout I've ever caught. And uh, yeah, supposedly they get up to about 30 inches. And uh, yeah, we're not expecting a 30 incher today, but I guess there's a chance, but we have uh, night crawlers. I'm gonna tie on a bobber and just kind of let it float around in this little uh, little pond thing. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, we're also gonna be throwing a bunch of different types of spoons, maybe a jerk bait, maybe a squirt bill, maybe a lipless, because the uh, trout do get bigger, so we might throw some bigger baits. But come along with me. Got a few hours, maybe more, maybe less. Who the hell knows? But try our best to catch a few trout. Planning on releasing most of them, but if one swallows it, I guess we'll figure out a way to keep it. But yeah, let's do this thing. I'm excited. Bye bye. <laughs> Should have brought some clean actuals. Camera, go to sleep. I also have been dicking around for an hour. My uh, my memory card's messed up, so I was already here once for a little bit, but uh, my GoPro wasn't working, so I had to go to the nearest trashy old Walmart and pick up a new memory card. Luckily, I think it's working. So luckily, the camera wasn't broken. But uh, I'm gonna shut the camera off, tie in the bobber, let it float around, put the nightcrawler maybe, I don't know, two or three feet down, just to have kind of a dead stick rod going or just kind of a do nothing rod, even though it's gonna be floating across the pond. I mean, I have to do nothing. And then I'm gonna start with a Castmaster. We also have little Cleos, Panther Doodles, Meps, Rooster Tails. I think that's it. <clears throat> no? Righty. Rigged up a bobber, starting a little bit deeper than I intended, but I just kind of threw the bobber on there and uh, yeah, that's where it ended up. So just got half a night crawler on for now. Might put a whole one on. What the night crawlers I have are pretty big. With that being said, I mean the trout are big, so eventually a whole night crawler might go on. Older didn't go in very far, but I suppose that'll work too. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna cast a greasy spoon, quarter ounce cast master, something like that. I don't know. I haven't used a cast master for a long time, but We'll give it a try today and uh, yeah, hopefully catch as much as this uh, this fine older couple over here. Look at them though. It's a husband and wife out on a nice sunny day fishing at the local neighborhood pond, catching fish, having good times. She looks like she has a giant of some sort. I hope that's Boo and I later in life. Just out here doing it, you know? That will be Boo and I later in life. But anyway, we're gonna start casting. They gotta, seriously, it looks gigantic. <clears throat> that's kind of where I was intending on fishing, but we'll give them their space. Curious to see what they catch though. It looks gigantic. Yeah, that looks like a 20 incher. We'll take that every day of the week. Preferably today, but we'd take that any day of the week. All right, I'll shut up now. We'll keep casting. Keep watching in awe as these uh, old timers kick my ass, and uh, hopefully we can catch one or two eventually as well. Oh, got one. Giant. For me, anyway right on the rocks okay bud no you calm down hell yes got kind of a mess going on with my damn bobber pole here but <clears throat> hammered it not super huge they get a lot bigger but definitely my biggest nebraska rainbow ever where you hooked bud you hooked bad no not really <sighs> Let my hand, let him chill out a notch. Thought he was chill, he ain't chill. Okay, look at that beauty. Not giant, but look at that thing's head. He's like kind of just like weirdly shaped almost. All right, bud, you're still good. He only had one hook on the uh, spinner, so 
easy release. If I gotta keep them, I will eventually. I also should probably go get a net. I think I have one in my truck for once. And yeah, windblown rocks. Kind of a side, side wind blown, but windblown rocks. Did get one bite on the night crawler, I think, but with it being so windy and it being weightless under a bobber, it was just kind of hard to tell and there's a lot of line to reel up before I even had a chance at hooking them. So we'll take that out for now and uh, keep throwing the spinner. Took the Castmaster off. Got a bigger sized uh, panther doodle and got bit. But yeah, I'm not sure what size six panther doodle. Definitely bigger than I throw for the uh, eight to 10 inch stalkers back home, but figured with the water being dirtier, being a little windy, the bigger bait with uh, more vibration would be a good choice, so. All right, shut up, keep casting. Sounds like that's about the minimum size for the ones here, but it was cool that it was kiped. Isn't that what it's called, kiped? Weird bottom jaw, weird lock jaw, pointed jaw thing. Is that a fish? There's a fish. Large mouth, thought it felt different. Felt like a wet sock. Cool. Species numero dos. Panther doodle. Getting her done. Getting her done. You guys might be the best trout fisherman I've ever seen. <laughs> you guys are killing it. Yep, yeah, finally. They seem to all be kind of pushed up over here. They have been for the last, I'd say, week. Really? Yeah. I was gonna ask, you don't mind if I cast in this corner, do you? Cause I haven't got shit over there. <laughs> I could only take so many. I was gonna move to Main Lake, but. We've got, we've got so many. So I just many wanted fish. to ask. I didn't want to get yeah. too close. I'd feel That's rude. Cool. What was your name again? I'm terrible with names. Dave? Dave and Merrill. Nice to meet you guys. Hi, hi. I'll tell Boo you said hi. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well shout out to Dave and Marilyn. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to come ask him if it was all right if I, uh, if I moved a little closer, they've just been beating the brakes off them and uh, luckily they're nice and actually they watch the videos. So shout out to you guys. I asked where Boo was. I probably left that part in. We chit chatted for another five, 10 minutes and yeah. Thanks for letting me cast close to you. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, see if we can catch another one. There's one, there's a giant on the jerk bait. Nice. That is not a bass. Hammered it. Right up against that shoreline. <laughs> oh man. Took a while. Thankful for these uh these folks that don't mind me fishing close to them. Normally I wouldn't, but I had to ask. They've just been beating the brakes off them. This is definitely my biggest rainbow in Nebraska ever by a long shot. Come here, bud. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is badass. Bad ass i uh i went to look at what kind of net i had and it was like a musky net and i thought i'd look like even more of an idiot with a musky net for trout so i uh <laughs> she's got another one <laughs> i didn't get the net and now i wish i would have because even a musky net's better than this i'm gonna actually go get the musky net next she's got a damn giant i guess let's worry about our fish first it's kind of hooked funny but he definitely smoked it. Damn beauty. Beauty. Now we gotta try to not get hooked. <clears throat> and maybe hold it. Okay. One of the two hooks out. Yep. Middle hook's in his mouth. So we can count that as my uh, personal best Nebraska rainbow. Okay, I promise this is gonna be the last weird fish unhooking. Well, I kind of want to hold him, but I don't want to kill him. I'm going to go grab my net and then keep casting the jerk bait. If I can catch him on a jerk bait, then I'm cool with it. So, pa pow. Pa pow.
Not sure what color this is, some sort of bluegill color. I think it's the only one I have right now, so it's gonna be using, but hasn't been working a lot, but that one sure liked it. And uh, we're just gonna throw it up against the rocks, a little bit to the side of them, and start jerking. Hopefully, continue catching. Not gonna be using any more night crawlers, no more bobbers, no more bottom rigs, unless they give me some power bait, but I don't think I'm gonna ask. I've already asked enough of them. Um, but we might cycle through some uh, actual trout lures now that we're on the windblown bank. So yeah, wish me luck. Try to get a couple more and then maybe try some other spots in the area. I think that's a bass. Can't really tell though. Yep. Nothing wrong with a little bass fish in between some trout. I imagine there's some bigger bass in here too, but seems like there's definitely a lot of one pounders. Still fun though, my bass fishing this year has been uh, pretty piss poor, so I suppose we'll take it. Definitely fights a lot different than the uh, trout though. That trout was whooping my ass. The bass, not so much. I know, I was thinking the same thing. That's why I never bring a net. Every time I'm prepared, I don't catch anything. Got one. Come on. There must be a pod rolling through. I was just reeling it that time and got hammered. Kind of died down a little bit. Even uh, the trout fish, fishing legends themselves kind of slowed down a little bit, but it was like a group's rolling through. Damn it, I shouldn't have missed that one. <sighs> it's been so long since I got a bite. Even Dave was commenting on the fact that I brought down the net and quit getting bit. Cursed, I tell you what. Cursed when it comes to nets. And I guess big stalker trout too. <clears throat> you can only beat a dead horse for so long though before you uh, should probably stop. And I'm getting close to the uh, probably stop stage. So I just want to catch another one, you know? Makes me stay too long, but never give up. One more. Then after I catch one more, I'll want to catch 10 more. But let's start with one. There we go. You called them in for me. There you go. She brought the good luck. Circle. Yeah, a pot of them must have came in because I missed one a couple casts before too. That's big. On the old provoke. <clears throat> First fish I've netted in 10 years. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do this. If he freaks out too much, I'm gonna just let him go. He's still sitting upright though. As long as he doesn't swim into the jerk bait. It's all right, bud. It's all right. They're just so hard to hold. Go here, bud. All right. Not a bad one. Buddy Steven's here holding the camera. We might go hit some other spots after this. He just got here, but how big do you think it is? Definitely 17, 18, maybe a little bigger. Yep, a couple pounder for sure. Yep. Bigger than most of the ones around here. <clears throat> there he goes. All right, try to catch one or two more, but on hour three or four, Maybe five, I don't know, so I'm gonna call it quit soon, but jerkbait getting it done. Pa pow. Alrighty. Still gotta look up this color, but it seems to be working as of now. And uh, it seems like another pod has rolled through, so I'm gonna keep casting out there. Once again, shout out to uh, Dave and Melanie, I think. If I messed up her name, I apologize, but without them being uh, generous, nice Nebraskans and allowing me to crowd their space and give me tips. I probably would still be at one trout and I just got slammed again. Kind of cool catching them on jerk baits. I mean, pretty big bait for a 
trout, technically speaking, so it's kind of fun. Nothing wrong with good old night crawlers and power bait and stuff like that, but or even spinners, but just something a little different. Something to keep it exciting. Started uh, reeling more towards the surface though, and I'm not sure if that made the difference or there's just more fish around, but I'm definitely getting more bites, so keep doing it. Maybe put in a couple twitches and see if we can get one of the real giants. Got one. It doesn't feel bad either. I dabble. In YouTube? Yeah. Are you pig patrol? Maybe. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're good luck because I've been making the same cast over and over again. And I haven't caught one for a while. Gavin? Nope. My dad, me and my dad watch you all the time. What's your name? Gavin. You want to be in a video? Sure. Say what's up, stash stains or something like that. So <laughs> now go catch one. Bunch of subscribers out here today. Gives me somebody to talk to while I'm not catching. So I'm cool with it. Another jerk bait fish. Probably gonna be the last because I want to go exploring. Um, but yeah, am I recording? I am recording. I also walked right past my net. Not a bad one. I should be good. <clears throat> All right, come here, bud. Get those hooks out of you. Smoked it, too, out in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> now we gotta get the damn hooks out of him. Luckily, he didn't swallow it, though, so another one we can release. We haven't been beating the brakes off them. It's been fun watching them catch the shit out of them, and they've caught some really giant ones, and really the ones I've been catching are giant to me, so. I mean, not a bad one. A few pounds or so. I'm definitely angry. Middle hook again. What does that mean? They want it? Something like that. Let's see if we can pick them up. All right, Timmy. Had about enough of your shenanigans. I guess I'm the one who hooked you, so I can't talk too bad. This one's got like a weird hump head. Oh, he's gone. That's all right. All righty, well, I can only make the same cast over and over again in the same spot so many times before uh, I have to call it quits, but I'll definitely be coming back. I'm gonna try some different things and maybe come a little bit more prepared than throwing a uh, jerk bait. But if you want some jerk baits, I don't know if they're in stock, I doubt they are, but for folk 106x, sixcentsfishing.com, discount code stash, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, I guess they, they work for trout. But yeah, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Shout out to Dave and uh, damn it, Meredith, Melinda. I have no idea, but shout out to them for showing me the ropes. Without them, probably wouldn't have happened. And uh, yeah, shout out to Steven for holding the camera for a little bit. And shout out to whoever the hell just walked by because I forgot. But All right, thanks for watching. You'll see this place again, maybe with food. Kapow.